living on campus with mold. My shoes, I don't know what type of fabric this is, but there's mold growing on it. These hats, we wear these on our head and then we didn't even know there was mold on it. I guess it's disgusting. 21-year-old Alan McDonald is a senior at SUNY Old Westbury on Long Island. He's studying criminal justice, but he hasn't been too focused lately. My actual mattress had mold on it, so I was sleeping with mold on it. I was getting rashes. I was sick. I couldn't breathe. Like, it was crazy in here. I wake up, massive headaches. Mold took over his room last month. I went to the doctor, and they told me, like, all of these are symptoms and from being exposed to mold and like my asthma came back. And he isn't the only student at Woodlands Residence Halls with the mold problem. Other students shared these photos with us showing their rashes and damaged clothes. We should be safe and healthy where we stay. This from the school spokesperson who admits there has been a mold outbreak and blames the recent rain on the problem. Every time we learn of an incident, it's cleaned, it's repainted with inhibiting products that inhibit the growth of anything. Uh, and we keep asking our students, just keep us surprised. Make sure if you see something, you tell us. So we're doing the best we can, given the circumstances Mother Nature's handed us. Just yesterday, PIX11 uncovered mold problems at William Patterson University in New Jersey. Students at both schools say more should be done to keep them safe. Anything that was in this room is starting to grow mold all over it. And so students say this mold problem goes beyond the rain. So what do they want? They want to be moved out of these rooms that do have mold and put into rooms that do not have mold. They also want to be reimbursed for all the damage of their clothes and their shoes. We did talk with school staff about this. They say what they are doing right now is trying to move those students out of these rooms and into other rooms. They say they are looking into whether they can reimburse students. Of course, we will stay on top of this one and let you know what happens. We are live online. Island tonight. Jennifer Bisram, PIX11 News. Wow. Guys.